What's going on, beautiful people? Y'all let me know if you can hear me okay. I uh maybe a delay. It's been a while since I've done this. I was doing this, uh damn, I was doing this a lot. Uh at first, like what at the beginning of the of the pandemic, I was streaming live. I think it was once every Sunday we were calling Hanging It with Hayes. This stream usually it it starts off with us talking about something in the creative world. Sometimes it goes off to me talking about family and stuff. I think uh, the last time I did this live stream, I ended up talking about how, apologize for that, how uh, my um my relationship with my father got messed up after my parents divorced and how that, you know, I took that out on him. Um, so this stream usually goes any and everywhere, but we're going to start off talking about something with creativity. Um, so, I, you know, I'm a creative. So I'm working on my second short film. Um, I'm going to be checking the chat as well, but working on my second short film. I'm in the middle of editing it now. and um. This is like, I remember when I was doing the stream at the start of the pandemic, it was the first time I was talking about my my first short film, The Creative. I was talking about like me, um, me wanting to start it and everything like that. And uh, it's it's funny how I finally got that off the ground at the end of last year. I actually dropped that on my birthday, which was December 5th. Um, I've won, already won two short film festival competitions from it. So I'm working on the second short film now. This one's titled The Bet. Um already starting on, on the pre-production on the third short film. So this is going to be a big year for Legacy Visions. I know a lot of what I talk about, I started off being a creative um, in the podcasting space and transitioned into video and photography. And then now I'm making short films. I own a production company. Um, we've done a couple of weddings already. Uh, so it's just big stuff coming. Um, how's, how's everyone doing? Uh, so, I mean, ultimately, like what I want this stream to be, because I'm going to start doing it again. I'm not going to have a consistent release schedule. Um, just don't look forward to that. <laughs> uh, cause I think, like I said, I was doing it every Sunday, um, for like months. I think I first, first three, four months of the pandemic, I was doing it every Sunday and then kind of fell off of it. Um, but want to get back into it. I miss interacting with you guys. I know I drop an episode of the podcast every week. I hear from a lot of you guys after the, around the release schedule, but this is a little bit more intimate, uh, get to ask questions and talk about shit. Um, but it's been a it's been a really big year already, 2021. Um, like I said, I dropped my short film, The Creative, at the end of 2020. So a lot of everything that's come from it has happened in 2021. Uh, we got accepted into two more big film festivals, so we'll see how that's going. But I'm really excited about this third one. The second one that's about to drop drops on March 5th. It's a comedy, so be on the lookout for that. But this third one that we're working on is going to be special. And when I say it's going to be special is because I'm not actually in this one. I get to just direct. I get to be behind the camera completely, bring my vision uh, that way. It's something, I want to tease it, what would I say? It's a mix between, like, Friday and Menace to Society. It's really of the culture. It's, it's a day-in-the-life movie. So, like, when you think of Friday, how Friday happens all over one day, and you get to, get to jump into these people's lives for one day, um, and the people in their neighborhood, it's going to be something very similar in, in the same spirit as that. Um, but it's going to be a little different. It's going to be based in Columbus, Ohio, which um, all my films are based in uh, until I move. But it's going to it's going to be some creatives, you know, in it, some that you don't. Uh, yeah, this one's I would say that it, the first two short films laid the groundwork for what I'm going to do with this one. Um, the first short film was exactly 15 minutes. The second short film is like 13 minutes. But this third film that we're doing is going to be like 30 to 45 minutes. It's going to be a really big endeavor. Uh, I can't wait to to see how it goes. But uh, all right, enough about me. How's everyone doing on this Friday evening? What you guys got going on? If you have any questions about anything creative, you want to get into video, we, we can talk about this. This is not going to be a stream necessarily where we talk a lot about the equipment anymore. Like I'll act, if you if you ask me questions about equipment, I'll do that. But ultimately, I think like when creatives want to interact, we want to know how to monetize, how to grow, how to how to perfect things. So like. It's not always about the equipment. Sometimes it's about what you can do in between that, uh, the drive that it takes and everything like that. So uh, it's really, really going to be uh, fun getting back into these live streams. Uh, me setting this up because like, I have a whole new studio space. Um, I have three recording stations now. I have this one, which is the one you see more often. I have the one with the gray background and the LED lights, which has turned to my work from home. That's what I haven't, I haven't done. That was originally supposed to be where I was supposed to do streams from going forward. Um, but that's kind of turned into something. And then I just finished a new recording space right directly across from where I'm recording now. 
um, where it has like this wood background and stuff. And it's going to be more chill back. I'll probably do live streams from there because it's, the couch is the main sitting one. It doesn't look as like industrial and commercialized as this one does. But uh, that's it, man. You know, and uh, you know, people say I'm equipment bougie. I guess I am to a degree because just like this stream, you see, I'm not streaming from my phone. I'm streaming from my computer and my professional camera. Because, I mean, at this point, I feel like what I do creatively with video, I can't have a, a regular stream anymore. Like, I just, I can't do that. People will be looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. Um, but uh, what, what what's everybody else got going on? I want to hear from y'all. What's going on, Mick Perkins? What's going on, Maddie Pace? Tasha's in the building. That's my homie. Y'all make sure y'all check out Maddie, uh, the Maddie Mo Show. Make sure you check out uh, Talks with Tasha podcast. Uh, she does her thing. Uh, shout out to uh, never mind. I was gonna I was gonna be petty, not with you, but you know who I was gonna be petty with because how me and her met. Um, I'm going through these comments now. A lot of thumbs up. But yeah, man. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy to see y'all. Equipment bougie, understatement. Yeah. It so so this this is what it's for. Like it it'd be easy. Like I I was creating professional close to professional sounding um, podcast when I had my $25 Behringer mic. Um, but as I upgraded this because I do live streams, my podcast is syndicated on three different radio stations across the country. Um, and I feel like what I want to do with creative, it wasn't just a pastime anymore. I knew I wanted to turn it into, it became a, a revenue generator for me. Hell, I got it. I have a Disney plus sponsorship on the Ewak. And so like, and not to say that that came because of the equipment, but when you are doing something to a certain level, you want to it to be reflective of it. All the money that I make from podcasting or that I make from film or that I make from photography goes back into it. Um, something to do some fun shit with and my kids because they spend all my fucking money, but you know how it goes. Um, Light flex. I flex a little bit. I flex a little bit. You know what it is. BJ's in the building. Make sure you guys go and check out. Um, damn it. Why am I at a loss for the name of the... B v, put your... Butt uh jesus murder v wrote Mur murder v wrote it's a great fucking name like i i'm old like i'm 34 years old now my my brain this is the first year of my life where i can say i honestly i always joked about feeling old where i like tiktok i don't understand tiktok the music my daughter brings to me i'd be looking at like what the fuck is this um my daughter had me do like some challenge with her the other day that's on her tiktok and i'm just like have i become that dad my kids dress me at this point um yeah, I'm just that dad at this point. Uh, light flex, but yeah, I'm glad to see all these all all of these people in. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done this stream. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, which is weird. I, I get nervous. I get nervous every time I get in front of a camera. Behind a microphone, never. In front of a camera, every single time, my blood pressure gets to rising. Um, <laughs> my heart gets to palpitating. All that crazy shit. It's 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 crazy. I wish my kids could be on the stream with me. I actually, don't have my kids tonight. That's part of another reason why I'll do this. So maybe that'll be the day that we'll lock in for the stream. Maybe we'll do every other Friday night because that's when I don't have my children. Is every other Friday night. So I'm just here by my lonesome, depressed, sad. Um, so maybe that's when we'll set it into official. And then you know, if I can fit something in on the in between weeks, we'll see what I can fit. In. Um, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate. That. I, I that's the thing, and I always say. I, everything that I have learned, I've learned myself. Like I haven't went to a class. Um, I picked up everything, um, over the course of time. I had, hadn't touched editing any audio or microphone or any equipment before I picked up and started podcasting at first. And it's just something I learned and taught myself over the course of it. There's my only superpower is, it's not that I'm a great host. It's not that I'm a great conversationalist. It's not any of that. It's that I can learn anything. And I really think that most of us can. It just depends on if you have the amount of time and the passion to put behind it. And luckily, I have the time and the energy to put behind all my passion. Um, podcasting started for me first as my as my passion. It started as an outlet first. It became a passion. Uh, then wanting to execute that passion a little bit better. That's how I got. I bought my first camera, got into video uh, and photography. And then I remember like when I was, I was doing, I was recording and editing, I think a video for one of my podcast episodes. I was like, I wonder if I could do a short. Film. And then now look, I, I own legacy visions. We've done, like I said, we've done two or three weddings so far. We did a couple of birthday parties, got hired to do a bar mitzvah. Um, haven't done it yet. Uh, that's not till April. So we'll be look, on the lookout for that. So 
yeah, I mean, you never know what can come of it if you really put your time, energy, and your hearts into it. Like, you never, I didn't do or got in, get into any of this chasing money. I didn't. I didn't think that I'd be good enough to make any profit off of it. I got into it all because I was passionate and I loved it and had a natural interest in it. Um, the moment that I that I started recording video for my podcast, like my brain started thinking of like interesting things I can do with video and promos and I love I love taking y'all know me. I'm the fucking I hate to admit it. I'm the selfie king because I like take selfies all the time. I love photography, but um not of me. Like there's so many pictures that I have like of my kids like doing interesting things that I don't even post because it's like really, really intimate. That and my son Alan never has pants on. So like most of the great pictures that I take of Alan. He has no fucking pants on. And I'm not going to keep posting my son's legs on social media. And then when he gets fucking 12 years old, he's like, God damn, dad. Like, my legs are all out all over the internet. So that's why I don't post more of him. Um, but memoirs of a lonely king. Uh, but yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Alan is just, he's a, Alan is, so Xavier looks just like me. My oldest son looks just like me. Um, I'm, they say Amaya looks like me too. Maya to me looks more like her mom. But Alan looks, Alan has my attitude and spirit, but he has my attitude that I developed at like when I was a, a angsty teen. He has that now at like seven years old. And I just, I don't understand why. I hope that that means that when he does reach teenage years, he's going to be more mellowed out because God, Alan is, for those who know Alan, you know Alan. It's hard not to, um, it's hard not to not, not to love Alan because he's just he's such a character and he has such a big heart, but he's an asshole. Like I can say that on here. I'm not gonna save this stream. Alan is an asshole. If let's just be real. I love my child. That that is my dude. He is the epitome of a jackass. And he, and people love him for it. it. Like the other day, we were sitting here. I made Alana some noodles uh, after school. That was like their after school snack. I made her some ramen. She sits them on the on the um on the table so they can cool off. Alan comes mosing his happy pantsless ass down the steps, sees a bowl of noodles on the on the table. Alana sitting in the living room watching TV. Didn't even think to ask. Just ate the fucking noodles, hot as shit. Then when Alana was like, "Hey, Alan, did you eat my noodles?" He went and grabbed an uncooked pack of noodles, handed it to her, and said, "Here, you be good now." And then walked back up off upstairs. Asshole, asshole. That is Alan. That is Alan. He is a, 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 a flat out asshole. Um, <laughs> but he doesn't play by the sisters either. He's the only one who can, like, I've told the stories before. Like, there's, there's times where I was fussing at Alana, and Alana will start crying. And then Alan would come downstairs and check me. Like, one time I, she went upstairs because I, I was fussing at her about, like, making a mess. And she went upstairs crying or whatever. He came downstairs. He was like, what did you say to Alana? I was like. I told her she didn't need to make messes or whatever. He was like, yeah, but how did you say it? Because she's crying and I don't like that. I'm like, you checking me? You checking me? That's Alan. That's my son. Um, he's a he's a goddamn character. I love I love I love him though. I love him. I I I worry about whoever ends up with that man. But anyway, uh, how does everything sound? I'm using a different mic. I'm not using my baby. This is my baby. My RE320. This is the gold standard of microphones. If you ask me, um, but I'm using the actual uh, one of the mo uh, the microphones I use when I am doing film. Uh, it's an overhead mic. I would pull it down, but like the way the system set up, I'm pretty sure if I try to show you guys, it's going to tip over and that's embarrassing. So, uh, but how does it sound? Um, let me know how that mic sounds. I hope that it sounds pretty good. Um, it's an oct oct Octava 01241. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't make movies. Y'all don't give um but i hope that it sounds as good as like my podcast and microphone uh it's just like it's like two feet above my head so if there's a slight echo that's why um but anyway what's going on i want i want to hear from y'all i've been doing this talking since i got on here um how's that like give me something give me something give me something my creatives that are in the building what are y'all working on this week what's dropping um i want to hear from you guys wonder where that came from v don't you dare um, in a robe, candlelit, having a call. Like, listen, I would do some shit like that. I would honestly stream live in like a bathrobe, and it being open a little bit, and a, and a tattoo showing. I would do that. That's something that I would do. But that—that's more of a like, 
uh, 11 p.m. midnight type live stream. We're in the middle. It's 7 p.m. I'm not doing that shit right now. My mom is still up. Like, nah, because if y'all know Mama Hayes, Mama Hayes always decides to pop up and like either on my Instagram or listen to a podcast and I'm talking about some of the craziest shit. So I'm not finna live stream while I know she's still up. Looks good, sounds good, clear as day, baby. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Man, listen. <laughs> when I, if, I, if I explain to you guys everything that I have set up for this stream tonight, right? Um, so I have my, my big ass light uh, dome that I have over here lighting me up. The rest of them is dark as shit. Got my camera. Um, but my camera's going into my field monitor, which is like a little monitor that you, that you can record into. And then the HDMI is going into that. Another one's coming out of that, going into the Black Magic. And then the Black Magic is going into the computer. And then the computer is going, I mean, that's going into OBS. And then OBS is streaming through this system called Yellow Duck. That's how you can stream on IG Live without using a phone. So that's what the fuck. I know. I, people dropped off. I didn't got nerdy as shit. The fucking viewers and dropped the fuck off. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I didn't have a plan coming into this. I was literally sitting around and I was just like, I miss y'all. I miss interacting like this live with you guys. This is the benefit of, of live streaming to me. It's not just about like um numbers, anything like that. Like podcast does great. I hear from a lot of you guys in the podcast. I think I have one of the most interactive listenerships in uh all the podcasting but it's nothing like being able to interact with you guys live um like i should have streamed to twitch at the same time but you know it is what it is. um yeah i'm gonna get back to doing it more often i really do miss it um uh, more than i care to admit um yeah i think part of like if you guys go and look at the last live stream i did that was like at the height i don't think i had been to the barbie yet like my hair and my beard were out of fucking control um <laughs> it's hard to believe like we've been in we've been in quarantine or in a pandemic because we know like some some places aren't dallas is not in a fucking quarantine at all i they they do whatever the fuck they want to do um <laughs> but we've been in a pandemic for almost a year like it's just crazy to think of crazy to think how our way of living has changed um i was going to continue to change with that um because it's not going to every if everybody got both their shots of the vaccine yesterday. Let's just say something happened to where all the world got their vaccine in two days. You got to think it's still going to be a very long time before people think and are comfortable enough um, to go back to living life the way that they did. Um, inspired me to put out a little documentary myself, going to work on that over the next few months. That's what's up, bro. I like you know what's funny, and it's it's funny how like inspiration works, right? Because uh, Maddie says that I inspired him. But what Maddie doesn't know is that before I had ever started this video thing, Maddie came in town uh, to Columbus to celebrate uh, um, Will Spliff and Barry White Owls uh, from socially um, unacceptable podcast. Um, he came in to celebrate them, and when he came, he had one of his boys was like videoing it, everything like on his phone, and that's what initially got me started to be like, okay, what can I do with video? So it's funny how like. He says, Maddie, you say I inspired you, but like you really were one of the you, um, Peabody from Social Complex, and uh can't remember the other podcasts because they they've gone away, but you guys were like one of the ones that I saw use video very like first with podcasting, and it got me thinking, like, huh, I wonder if I can do this video thing. So you just never know how things are gonna work out. Everything goes full circle, right? You inspired me. I, 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 in turn, inspire you to do some shit, and I know the documentary is going to be fire, so I can't wait to see it. Um, but yeah, and sometimes you guys are going to have to let me know this. So, <laughs> for those who haven't met me in person and just hear me on The Awakened Soul, probably don't know how fast I actually talk in real life. Like, I, I talk fast is holy shit. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Man, it, it I, I you know what's funny is that I um I randomly picked up um my first the first camera that I ever bought when I started this. I I picked it up the other day and I just started doing some stuff with it, just messing around. Um and it's crazy how like how things have changed because you know, I've learned a lot then and I even think like if I for some reason I had to sell my professional camera 
this camera's like fucking camera lens combo is like six thousand dollars but um and go back to that to that four hundred dollar camera i could still create some dope ass shit uh just because what i've learned like cinematography wise and that's what that's what the creative really was was supposed to be for like the creative was never supposed to be this thing where um where it was like this huge narrative project like the bet and the third film were more narrative so those were like more straight films when i originally started envisioning the creative when i created it um it was mainly to show off what i know how to do now cinematography wise it was like a a highlight reel for like anyone who wanted to hire me to do weddings and shit and i can point them to that and be like look this is what i can do filming myself imagine what i could do filming you and your wedding party so um but you know it is i learned cinematography first that was the thing like when i well i learned how to do video edit video of course first but then like when i wanted to start doing things that were more creative with video the angles the 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 way the camera movements and cinematography as a whole that was the thing that i really wanted to focus on first was the cinematography aspect of it because i can hire a writer to make to to write a film like the bet the reason why that is more narrative than the creative is because there's an actual writer on it who helped because i'm not i'm not great at writing um i'm I'm a creative i'm a visual creative um i can make anything look beautiful but like as far as like the the plot and all that shit uh that's what the writer's for you know a great writer shout out to jb javit uh who was the writer on the bet can't wait to release about release the trailer i can't wait to release the full uh movie which comes out march 5th but this next this next when i tell you the script for this next film has me so excited a because i'm not in it and b just because of how fucking beautiful it is. um filming with the drone sucks ass let me tell you why here's why uh so there's two reasons why filming with a drone sucks it's beautiful you get beautiful shots right um but learning how to fly it like shit suck uh <laughs> i kept running into shit um but then like cameras on drones can be really good but when you're using a, a professional like the camera that i use to do this to do my podcast to do my films is an actual camera that has been used to film netflix specials and, and shows and shit um so the 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 quality doesn't quite match up and like i can get into like a really nerdy reason why but i'm not gonna bore you guys with that uh so like it sucked learning how to fly it and then it sucked editing it and trying to get it to match the footage from this professional camera it it almost would have been better if i used my older camera to film the movie with and then it probably would have matched the drone better um but yeah it's it's but it's fun like thing i want to get into and i think would be better for me with drones are fpv drones those are the ones where you put the goggles on and you can't see anything like you're literally seeing what the drone sees i think that for me it'll be easier for me to fly that type of drone because then i'm in the perspective of the drone uh so that may be that may be better for me but we'll see i i, I don't own a drone so i had to rent one i don't own one that's probably going to be my next big purchase i say that but then Sony announced the Alpha One camera that films in 8K. Um, that's like six thousand dollars. It's like burning a hole in my pocket that I don't have that camera. So we'll see. We'll see. Any other questions? Any other questions? Anything? Come on. I talked about my son being pantsless. Um, him being an asshole. Talked about filming my films. I talked about. I don't even know live streaming in a row come on what you, maddie what you got me talking about what you got me talking about yeah and if i look down it's because streaming from your your computer i can't see the chat on like the window so i have to, I have to i'm also watching the stream from my podcast page and, I'm, and so there's a little delay between me seeing you guys ask questions and make comments uh let me go back and make sure i didn't miss do, 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 do. 45 seconds. all right so um i guess something i could talk about while i'm waiting on questions but uh, don't be shy y'all now it's funny when i put up the little questions things on instagram y'all ask me wild ass questions but now that i'm streaming live and i can actually answer your questions y'all don't want to ask me shit i see how y'all y'all fake that's what it is that's what it is um well, let's continue um I do I do want to do a film with my children. Um I think I'm um, not I think Amaya wants to do a horror film. She wants to star in a horror film. Um so that may be film number four. 
you look looking for that and as people more a lot of people may know horror is my favorite genre i love horror movies love scary movies above any and everything um yeah that's it people are still joining um but yeah uh, another thing that i want to do now would be i want to get into corporate video um whether that means going and doing headshots for people that's corporate photography but like sitting down maybe doing some of the training stuff um promo for i've, I've, I've you know what i actually did uh record a uh, for super chefs here um they haven't released it yet. that's the thing that's that's one thing that i don't like um because like me as a creative once i create and i edit and i complete it i'm ready to put the shit out when you when you do things for these other companies or entities or whatever like they have you create something and then like you just have to sit there and wait for them to be ready to release it. That's why, I, like, I got asked to do a music video for an artist here, and the reason why I didn't, well, one of the reasons, but the schedules didn't quite overlap. But he wanted me to shoot the video, and the video wouldn't have released for like a month and a half afterward. Listen, my ass gets too antsy. I would have released a clip, and I probably would have got fired. Um, but that's something that I'm working on. Um, I, you know, the thing with it here, um, everything shut down. So. I mean, as like podcast festivals, because like 2020, I either I spoke at, attended, presented, was on a panel at like four or five different podcast festivals in 2019. Um, I had a couple lined up already for 2020. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, I did a couple. I uh, did a lot in 2019. I actually did two in 2020. I, I did one in Dallas, shout out to the Melanin Festival. I did that uh, February of last year, of 2020. That was the last one that I got to do because literally like two, three weeks after that is when quarantine kicked in. So, um, but yeah, I want to do everything. Like video is my passion now. Um, I'm podcast and everything is, but like what I can create visually with video, um, just it has me excited. Like I, I, I filmed the dogs today. Like the dogs were running around chasing fucking rabbits or raccoons something they were chasing something in the backyard and while they were doing it i went downstairs grabbed the camera i sh i went handheld with it threw the handle on that mug and i was in the backyard following them i'm probably gonna cut it into like a silly short film because my dogs are retarded like one one of them's over here laying down now um so like i legit i have so much footage of shit um there's a new black lives matter mural downtown i went out and filmed that i filmed a blm rally uh, last year that i never released now that i think about it it's just the footage has been sitting on my hard drive um see so yeah, i got i i've recorded i got footage a day like it's 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 crazy how much shit that i have um but we'll we'll see when i release it or how i can use it for something uh later on all right no no new comments no new comments now we're probably going to end this if we probably before 7 30 so we got about 14 more minutes um, to go, I'll probably cut myself. I haven't, no, I had did eat today. I'm thirsty. That's what. Um. But yeah, how's everything? Um, I guess you guys already said everything sounds and looks good. I want to make sure because I'm going to save this as a preset for streaming because you have to like do this weird stuff to stream from IG Live. Like, of course, this format is different than like YouTube and stuff because it's vertical. So. Yeah, we got that going. We got that going. Gina Hughes just joined. Uh, for anyone who's just joining, uh, back at the start of the pandemic, I was streaming every Sunday, uh, but uh, I got away from that for like <sighs> like six months. I haven't done one, so I'm getting back to doing stream. We'll talk about create creative outlets here. I talk about a little bit about my life. I was just going on a rant about my son and how he's an asshole, but I love him. Uh, so anyone who's joining, this is really just anything stream. Um, We'll start having more formalized topics, maybe even bring on a guest or so uh, as we as we continue this live stream. Only thing about it, though, is when I bring in a guest, I have to stream from my phone because the software that I use to stream from my computer and my camera doesn't allow you to bring anyone else in, unfortunately. So that's the one downside. This will be the time. Um, what we got? Anything left? Anything left before we end the live stream? Any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas? Um, one thing that we'll be getting into, not this week. So this week on The Awakened Soul, I have Courtney V uh, from the Barbie Way podcast on uh, where we talk about, we each 
brought five questions that we asked that we feel like the opposite sex isn't always honest about. Uh, we'll also be talking about uh, the importance of uh, protection. Um, and then we'll also be talking about Malcolm and Marie and how narcissism can affect relationships. And that's going to go into the next full episode after that. Um, I already teased it last week. We'll be talking about how narcissism and creativity overlap. Every creative has a bit of narcissism in them. Don't let them tell you any different. Um, but we'll be diving into how those things overlap. Um, the positive sides of narcissism. It's easy to talk about the downsides of narcissism. But there are, if you can control it, a lot of positivity specifically in the creative world um, with narcissism. So we'll talk about that stuff coming up on the Awaken Soul podcast. Uh, yeah, that's what we got going on. I can't wait to this week's episode, though, because Courtney is somebody like, I went from, people who've been listening to Awaken Soul for all three and a half years it's been around, uh, will know, like, I went from having a guest every single episode to now I have fewer guests. Like, I'm usually by myself more than I have guests now. Um, but when I do have guests, I try to make sure that it's a topic that they bring something to the table to a conversation that I really want to have with that, sp- that person specifically. Um, whereas when I first started podcasting, I just brought in a guest and I would make the topics that I wanted to talk about anyway. And the guests, I wouldn't even like necessarily try to overlap, like if they had an interest in it or not. So I'm more strategic with the way I bring in guests now. And Courtney's somebody who I've been, I've been connected with for over a year now, as far as like podcasting and talking about podcasting and stuff. But I've been thinking of an episode that I wanted to get her on for probably about six, six months out of that time. And the idea came once Malcolm and Marie came on, I was like, this is perfect. Um, so we'll be talking about that. Malcolm and Marie, how narcissism affects relationships and, and trauma and things like that will also be, like I said, five things that we each feel that the opposite sex isn't always honest about. It's going to be fun conversation. fun conversation. While we're talking about that, Love, Lust, and Badass Soul will be coming back. Uh, we took a brief break end of the year. That'll be coming back. It feels like we've been taking a lot of breaks, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, make sure you guys are also checking out My Brother's Keeper. Uh, which is a podcast I do with my best friend, JB. Uh, that's my boy. And me and JB have that chemistry. You'll hear it on the podcast. Uh, my Brother's Keeper is completely different from anything I do, whereas we literally just turn on, hit the record button. We just talk, joke, talk shit. It's like you're in the room with two brothers uh, who are really just fucking joking on each other most of the time. But we talk. We, we have topics that we talk about, but uh, it, it, can, it can go left pretty quick. If you want to see me in a different way, like I'm always – very well controlled and thought out on the awakening. So you want to see all the craziness that really goes on in my dark and twisted, crazy ass mind. My brother's keeper is the podcast to check out. We hold no punches with that podcast. Um, uh, water's good, people. Make sure you're drinking your water. Um, but that's it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Um, we've had a few people uh, come off. I really think that we are done for today like i said be looking out yeah every other friday for sure because that's when i don't have my kids and then the off weeks i'll try to fit in a random live stream when i can so i'm giving you guys a live stream at least once a week now sometimes i may stream here sometimes i may stream from my podcast page Uh, i had to create a new podcast page because some reason when i posted the creative on the original awaken soul page i posted the full short film for some reason instagram saw that as spam and they took down my fucking podcast page, which I had been building up for three years. Had like 1,500 followers over there. So please, if you're watching this, go and uh, follow Awaken Soul Pod is what it is. Now, it used to be the Awaken Soul Pod. This fucking Instagram of a bunch of fucking haters. Uh, make sure you go and check that out as well. Uh, we'll talk about film, uh, anything creative, life, politics sometimes. We'll talk about a lot of topics. Maybe I'll do a, a stream. Um, we got um, Judas and the Black Messiah coming out. Um, I'm actually going to the theater to see that tomorrow. So I may do another live stream Sunday just talking about that movie because I'm sure that movie is going to move me and I'm going to want to have conversations with it. So make sure you guys, uh, if you're going to watch the movie, check out. I'll announce something if I'm going to actually do a live stream. Um, But that's it. I am the Content King, a.k.a. CEO Hayes, a.k.a. the Red Bearded Assassin, a.k.a. the Dad by God. I'm the pod guy, too. Uh, Make sure you guys, like I said, go and follow Awaken Soul Pod. Um, follow the Berks Media as well. Make sure you fo- go and check out my brother's Keeper podcast. Ch- check out Maddie Pace, the Maddie Mo Show, uh, Murder V Wrote, all the great creatives who join this live. I'll see each and every one of you guys in a couple of days where we talk about Judas and the Black Messiah, getting the name of that movie correct. 
But I'm signing off. I love each and every one of you guys. This has been a presentation of the Breaks, Breaks, Breaks Media. 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 Media.